Hello guys and welcome back to Pure Heart. Chris here, as usual, back again with another album review. And this week has just been really hectic just with of how many albums have been, just been releasing. This is the third one reviewing and it just got released this week. So yeah, really, really tiring. Then there might be a fourth coming Monday, maybe depending on if you guys want. And if you guys do, you know, there might be a question thing that I actually might add, like right wherever it may be. Maybe here, maybe here, I don't know. Uh, depends on, you know, where YouTube has it. You know, you guys hit that yes or no, or whatever, I may have the options, you know, do what you do uh, on there. But anyway, let's get into it. So Peopled With Dreams is John Mark McMillan's eighth studio album, and it comes off the heels of his very successful Mercury and Lightning album. Uh, just being honest, I'm actually not a huge John Mark McMillan fan. Uh, just with some of his voice, it's just, it sometimes gets a little bit too deep, so I can't really listen to it that much. And his lyrics are really powerful, and I, I love that. And sometimes I multitask, sometimes I play a game while also listen to music and sometimes with his lyrics it's really hard you know more of his lyrics is more of reflective type of stuff but anyway i'm not saying that any way of a bad thing the way that it's more uh structured wise and some music is like that some music is more easy to listen to whatever and some music is you know you gotta have these thought provoking stuff i mean you can also have easy listening and also thought provoking stuff within it and it's just more of the style of the way that the music is personally i feel like that this is really the sequel of mercury and lightning you really get that within not only the music style because it kind of does sound a little bit similar to mercury and lightning so if you do like that sound then you'll love this but also within the way that the lyrics is because with mercury and lightning like literally with the title track and probably some of the few other songs it has this you know semblance to greek gods more like he was questioning his faith during the whole album you know he's down his faith then you know is more of this resurrection by the second half of that album but with peopled with dreams it's the sequel to that and so it's more of him reflecting and saying that he's very thankful for what god has done for in his in his life and you really get that with just many great songs honestly this is definitely one of my favorite john mark mcmillan songs there's definitely a lot of songs where it's just like you just you just end up crying especially the song the road the rocks and the weeds it, honestly that's like a song that you guys definitely need to listen to it's beautifully lyrically done a uh, beautiful music style uh, the beginning does have that john mark mcmillan deep lower voice and but then you know he, it's more of a transition to more of this like different type of John Mark McMillan voice. And that's actually what I really like during out with this album. That's why I actually really enjoy this album. It doesn't have so much of that deep John Mark Millen voice, but it does have the John Mark Millen voice that you're grown to love. A few of my favorites, I would have to say, is The Road, The Rocks, and The Weeds, and definitely Pilgrim. It's just, it's just l listening to both those, both of those songs is just really fantastic. Even The Fright's Jesus, which had this chorus go in the background, and you get a lot of chorus sounds here and there within different songs, especially with the uh, next song with Juggernaut, and you really get those just, you know, these really epic just sounds here and there, but also with some 80s type of style music within some of these songs really really great listen to uh, definitely one of the best emotional fun albums that i've listened to this this year you know on, honestly i'm just trying to think of a few bad and there's there's not really i mean cousin john would honestly be the only downfall of the album mainly because it is a little risk of where he's trying to go out from the perspective of Jesus, you know, talking to John, but it's it's not a bad song. It's just the way lyrically it's it's not totally weak. It's just kind of interesting. But honestly, I don't really mind it. My only problem with this album would 
and it's just you know my own personal taste is that usual typical uh, John Mark McMillan voice that deepness I'm not a huge fan of that deepness because it's like okay that's it's a little bit too much man and so overall I'm gonna have to give this album a five out of five hipster Jesus with a coffee in one of his hands an album that I really enjoyed listening to throughout definitely one of my favorite John Mark McMillan's albums Honestly, with this album, you're either going to love it or hate it. I absolutely loved it. And just with the lyrics and the music styles, I really loved it. It's just a very enjoyable time. Uh, and this album is the perfect length for an album for me, which is 40 minute long album and only 11 songs on it. And so honestly, with that, if you guys would, hit the like on this video. Comment down below what your favorite song off this album was and also what you guys thought about this album. Or would you guys want me to review? And if you're new here or a returning visitor and you haven't yet subscribed, but you love the content that I make, then please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out this channel. And guess what? You are loved. Boom. Bye.